I'm extremely proud of the Los Angeles City Fire Department's flexibility and dedication to our mission to save lives during this COVID-19 pandemic. Navigating our new normal while keeping the public and our firefighters safe are the reasons why we continue to adjust our operational policies and procedures. It's been a long journey with the coronavirus pandemic accelerating its implementation. So I'm very pleased to say that we launched our telemedicine program this week. I'm looking at you, your skin color looks real great. It's innovative and timely. The LAFD Telemedicine Program, or LTP, connects 911 callers with specifically trained emergency physicians and EMS advance providers at Metropolitan Fire Communications, or MFC. LTP's goals are to decrease the exposure of the department's firefighters and paramedics to potentially infected patients, decrease the exposure of healthcare professionals to additional COVID-19 patients, lower emergency room overcrowding, decrease the number of ambulances dispatched to non-emergency patients who can safely treat themselves, and enable highly trained healthcare professionals to evaluate patients via smartphones in their homes. Thanks to the Mayor's Innovation Fund, the telemedicine program has evolved to provide an additional layer of response to protect all involved. The COVID-19 pandemic is really the catalyst to implement this program to allow us to provide expert medical treatment and advice through specially trained physicians and advanced providers to patients in their home and minimize the need for ambulance dispatch and transport to the emergency department for low acuity patients. Okay, sir, and what is the address of the emergency? Here's how the telemedicine program works. After a call is received, an LAFD dispatcher will ask a series of questions to determine if the patient is low acuity, non-urgent, and if the caller qualifies for telemedicine. Please stay on the phone, sir. I'm going to transfer you to our fire department advanced provider. When a caller meets the criteria, the dispatcher transfers yeah, them to a telemedicine provider or TP. And are you taking any medications right now? If the TP Wait decides to proceed virtually, he or she will send a link to the caller's smartphone. We're connecting via telemedicine to see if we can, you know, uh, figure out what we can do for you. After a thorough evaluation, the TP either will provide self-treatment advice or send an ALS or BLS resource if it turns out the patient does need to be seen in an emergency room. Can I have you take a deep breath and then count to 30 as fast as you can in that single breath? If the LAFD transport isn't necessary, the TP can dispatch a taxi prepaid by the city to take the patient to a local health clinic. For example, through telemedicine, the TP can handle a simple skin rash complaint instead of dispatching an ambulance to transport to an ER, putting LAFD members and the patient at risk of infectious diseases like coronavirus. I have no doubt that the telemedicine program will continue to exist long after we get through this pandemic and far, far into the future.